Over the years, diabetes has become a very common condition and still we are not able to prevent premature complications and death despite identifying the hormone and being able to provide the hormone to patients. Insulin therapy has now been around for nearly a hundred years, but clinical trials say you need to adjust the insulin on a regular basis, consistently, week by week, month by month, year by year. And that's what makes insulin effective. Insulin is not an easy therapy to use. You need a lot of help and support. And because of the demands on our healthcare system, we weren't able to provide that support. Because there are so many patients, nobody can see their patients once or twice a week to make those adjustments. And therefore, the majority of patients using insulin do not achieve therapy goals and continue to have complications. There were days when I would literally um, have crying spells because I'd just get frustrated and think, oh God, you know, what am I doing wrong and why do I feel like this? I'm so sick to my stomach. My readings were very, very high off the scale. I was admitted to hospital three times because of my diabetes. It's hard to explain, but it's, it's just a horrible feeling when you get a low blood sugar. Our patients deserve that when they start on insulin, that they get adequate support. The need is to match a clinical trial in real world clinical practice. DINA have closed that gap. It gave the patients all that additional help and support that they needed to use insulin successfully. Finally, we have some technology that can help bring this to real life clinical practice. DINAV has been able um, patients to titrate their own insulin without constant supervision of their providers. It took the guesswork out of insulin doses. Patients come in, we uh, establish a baseline and a treatment plan, and we set them with the DNAV technology. And uh, they take the app and they go home with it, they will measure their glucose, the app will then adjust their insulin doses as often as needed. That little device is worth its weight in gold to me. I was referred to the DNAF system from my endocrinologist and it's just so easy to control with this compared to the old-fashioned way, kind of guessing and the carbs counting. I would prick my finger, drop of blood, and the machine would give me my reading of my blood glucose then I would press again and it would then tell me what to inject. It took all the worry, all the hassle out of it. I just feel so much better and in control with the blood sugar now so I don't have the lows and the highs. I consider the DNAV is like my partner. It kind of keeps me going and keeps me in line when I'm not doing the right thing. It's not just a device, it's a service as well and that's I think what makes it rather special. This is a journey. So we are there to support the patient. We're trying to make you comfortable with using new technology. And it's got me down to about a 6.1 right now. So it's been fantastic. I have a wee notebook that I keep my own record in. And I have kept it from 2015. And my HbA1c has been below 7 from then to now. And that's fantastic. That's that's my aim, to keep it below that. And with the help of the machine, I'm doing that. Oh, we definitely have had a pre-DNAV and a post-DNAV experience in terms of supporting patients, no doubt about that. But the thing about it is it's completely sustained. It goes on and on and on. We've had patients using the service for over five years and still getting excellent A1C results. So you don't tend to get any drift. The A1C drops and it stays good. Uh, for a long period of time and that's very encouraging for us and for our patients. This is really a big breakthrough that we've been waiting for, hoping for and looking forward to for many years. It's time to use technology like DNAV and others out there to titrate the insulin based on glucose patterns on a regular basis and achieve optimal glucose control.